More than a quarter of a century after the nuclear accident at Chernobyl in the former Soviet Union, the British government is lifting on June 1st the last of its restrictions on shipments of meat from sheep. The restrictions were introduced following the accident when high levels of radiation were detected in sheep raised on grass in Wales and some other parts of Britain. Fallout from the accident affected wide areas of Europe. The provision requires testing of sheep for radiation before farmers can take them to the market. It bans the shipment of meat containing radioactive substances above the government limit. The British government says it is now scientifically confirmed that sheep meat from areas still under the restrictions is safe to eat. An association of farmers in Britain has urged the government to clearly explain the reasons for lifting the restrictions to avoid causing public anxiety. Leaders attending the upcoming nuclear security summit in South Korea plan to step up their efforts to prevent nuclear terrorism and ensure the safety of reactors. Fantastic, it's paradise. Oh, help me, Clarence, I want to live again. The first round of the summit took place in the United States in 2010. The second round will be held next week in the South Korean capital of Seoul. Japan, the United States, China and 50 other countries will be taking part. In an outline of the summit's joint statement, leaders say that nuclear terrorism is one of the most threatening factors in world security. They state that all nations must take responsibility to prevent malicious groups like terror organizations from gaining access to nuclear materials. The outline refers to the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant accident and the need to address nuclear reactor safety. One issue cited is the need to improve nuclear emergency preparedness. Well, this is marvelous news, Rupert. Just think of the money I can make in a world like this. I can introduce big tits, break up the broadcasting monopolies, destroy the Times, BBC, the Royal Family. I can make an absolute bloody fortune. Japan's Nuclear Safety Commission is expected to release its evaluation of stress tests for two halted nuclear reactors by the end of the week. The government's Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency early approved the results of the first stage stress tests on the number 3 and number 4 reactors at the Oi plant in Fukui Prefecture. The commission is verifying the agency's evaluation of this test results. It's been compiling its report after consulting experts. Commission Chairman Haruki Madarame told reporters on Monday that the commission's first decision on the stress test results could be out within the week. Madarame emphasized that the first stage stress test alone will not ensure a plant's safety. In other countries, the stress test is used in matters unrelated to restarting reactors. I think that a comprehensive safety assessment must be carried out. The government will make a final decision on whether to allow the reactors to restart. Meanwhile, the Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency is set to endorse the results of an initial stress test on an idled reactor at the Ikata plant in Ehime Prefecture, western Japan. The agency on Monday said the plant's operator has taken the necessary measures to prevent a disaster like that at Fukushima Daiichi. It Look, I don't know who you are or under what law you've been released into the community, but just frig off, will you? It said it was preparing to formally submit its assessment. The Gata plant is the nation's second to undergo stress tests. Don't you understand, Rupert? I'm your guardian angel. I'm going to show you what this town would have been like. If and up next, Tokai Nuclear Power Plant in Japan leaked about 1.5 tons of radioactive water. Japan's nuclear safety watchdog, Monday, said a leakage of about 1.5 tons of low-level radioactive water occurred at a plant of Japan Atomic Power Company in the village of Tokai in Ibaraki Prefecture. The Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency launched an investigation to check whether the water had leaked into the sea. The water was used to decontaminate radiation protection suits and other items and was contaminated to an extent of 33 becquerels per gram, adding that the leakage occurred when water was transferred from a storage tank to another tank of a nuclear reactor during decommissioning Wednesday. The Tokai Nuclear Power Plant, Tokai Genshi, Rokyu, Hasuden Sho, Tokai NPP, 
was Japan's first nuclear power plant. It was built in the early 1960s to the British Magnox design and generated power from 1966 until it was decommissioned in 1998. A second nuclear plant built at the site in the 1970s was the first in Japan to produce over 1,000 megawatts of electricity. Name something that can kill a lively party. Countless difference you've made to people's lives, the joy you've spread. I'm going home. Where's a bloody minicab? <laughs> 